A character's level represents how experienced they are. A first level fighter will still be getting to grips with their weapon of choice, while a tenth level wizard will have tons of powerful knowledge to draw on. There are two ways you can level up. You can collect experience points, otherwise known as XP, or you can achieve character milestones. Basically, you get XP for everything you do, whether you choose to take down a fire giant or simply pick a lock. Character milestones don't rely on numbers though, they come as a reward for worthy achievements. The Dungeon Master will be watching all your adventures and looking out for opportunities to reward you. Every character has hit dice. These are the dice you roll to determine how many hit points you have. A battle-hardy fighter will have a d10, while a wizard used to the comforts of a library will have a d6. Every time you level up, you can roll the hit dice, add the modifier for your constitution, and add that final number to your existing hit points. You can also add this extra hit dice to your collection for healing on short rests. And after an encounter with a Hydra, you'll be thankful for it. At certain levels, your proficiency bonus increases. This is the number you add to the skills and saves you're particularly good at, such as intimidation for bullying shopkeepers into giving you a discount. You're not stuck with that first set of stats you rolled. You can get stronger and smarter as you level up. At certain levels, you'll be able to add two points to one score or one point to two different scores. This can boost their modifiers and therefore boost your other skills. Scores can only be boosted to a maximum of 20. If you're happy with how the numbers are looking, you can take a feat instead. These are talents your character can pick up, such as learning special combat maneuvers or previously unknown spells. Well, if your barbarian ever puts the axe down long enough to cast one. Obviously, there are some conditions to getting certain feats, but every class has tons of options to pick from. Each class also has new traits you gain as you level up, and these vary, so it's best to check a class table to find out what you get and when. Subclasses also have their unique skills to learn at certain levels, so check back with your player's handbook to see how you can better slay a beholder or charm a goblin. <laughs>